good evening uh, i'm having a power cut so i'll leave my camera off for a while if power comes i'll turn the camera again last week uh, what did we do what did we do last week Simple HTML document. Yes, I'm getting it to it. Just okay. So today, what we are going to do is actually upload our the fabric and everything. Yes. In just a second. Mm -hmm. This is the code which we had uh, completed last week. Yes, me. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is Notepad plus plus. If you watch the last week's recording, uh, did did you join the live class? In because in last week's recording, uh, if you had seen the first thing which we did was to download Notepad plus plus. So if you had watched it. I think you should have done got this app. So, uh, is there any of y'all uh, who didn't code this? Uh, that means who has not written this code yet? Amil, okay. Amil, I don't know. Amil have to do something for that. Okay, so just okay. So if you have, uh, can I know who are the you put this code already? It is not saved, but I did. Okay, so what we are going to do now is to actually upload this code to a online platform and check how your codes function. I'm new today. Uh, so it's okay, you can actually uh, get the recording. If you are there in the group, uh, I'll drop the week one recording in the group today so you can get it from there. Or you can directly message me and get it. Okay, so you have uh, you must have your coding like this. What I want to do is go to your source folder where you have saved your uh, file. Now, I hope you can see my uh, window. Go to that folder. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Duplicate it. Okay, duplicate it, and I want you all to rename it as your uh, first with your name. First, type your name, and I want you all to type day one. I want you all to name it. For example, I'm naming Ammargani day one. I want you all to rename in this manner. Once you're done renaming your files, raise your hands in the participants list. I joined your class today. What is this app in PC? This is called a uh, Notepad Plus Plus. You can actually search Google for Notepad Plus Plus and download it. Okay. So uh, those who uploaded it, okay. Those who have renamed it, just wait for a second. Uh, let me explain to the new guys over here. So if there are any new ones, uh, new people to the class, I'll just give a small summary of what we did last week. Okay. First, to start an HTML document, first you name the doc file. Here we, we have done uh, the top. It is not necessary step. This is to show that this document type is written in HTML. So you write here, doc type HTML. Uh, you don't need to use your uh, Notepad plus plus app for this. You can actually use your Notepad in your uh, window. If you search Notepad, your PC you must have Notepad. Uh, Yeah. 
Okay, you can just go to Notepad, type, doc type, explanation mark, doc type, then HTML, close tag. This is called the angular bracket. This is open angular bracket. And this is the close angular bracket. Okay, how to duplicate? Uh, what duplicate? To the code. So HTML uh, code starts with the HTML opening tag like this. You open the HTML tag and you close it with a slash HTML. Okay, then inside the HTML last week we had discussed there are two elements. What are the two elements in, in the HTML tag? What are the two elements which you have in the HTML tag? Exactly, head and body. So I, I, I keep an indentation. I type head and I close the head tag. I open the body tag and I close the body tag. Are you there? So this is how, yes, head and body, correct. So th these are the elements which we include inside the HTML tag. So inside the head, head tag, we name the title. So what is the title used for? This was a question in the last week's worksheet. And uh, guys, if you have not completed the worksheet, uh, I want you all to complete it because at the end, don't ask for the certificate without completing the worksheets. You don't have to get uh, 10 out of 10 for everything. Even if you get one marks, you do the worksheet. Never mind. Even if you get zero, it's fine. So the title is actually used to, for example, if you visit a website, I'll just show you. Uh, you can download any version you like, the latest version or the oldest version, anything. All are the same, actually. So I'll open a website, for for example, I'll open google.lk. Then the title you'll see here, on the top of the addre uh, address bar, this is the address bar, on top of it, you actually see a name, a site name, Google. This is the week one responses. On top of the uh, responses shoot. Uh, you see the name, the uh, title, the page title. So this is defined with the title tag. So actually you go into the title tag. First website. And now inside the body tag is what to type to for the users to see. In there I will type H1. Watch the last week's recording for a detailed explanation. I'm just doing a summary here. In case if you have not completed it, uh, complete it with me and upload it. H1, uh, just one H1 is enough for now. I'll create, this is my site. And you used to create a paragraph with the P tag. P, open P tag, close P tag. And this is my mm -hmm. description. Okay, once you're done, in the notepad plus plus, I showed you to save last week. Control S, uh, you go to this window, Control S, I think, yeah. Save as, Control Alt S, then you all go and choose HTML, hypertext markup language file from this menu over here and just save it. That's an easy procedure for the Notepad++. But in the Notepad of your PC, the normal standard app, you press Control S and you go to the directory where you want to save it, uh, the location where you want to save it. And down you will see an option called text documents. I want you all to click that and click all files here. Click on that and save it as uh, your name first. Your name day one dot HTML. Save it like that. Save it like that. And once you're done saving it with your name, raise your hands in the participants list. Uh, we'll upload our files in a while. Okay, four of them are done. Please tell again how to save it. So how to save it? Um, okay, so this is my notepad window. You press Control S, then it will take. Uh, it will bring a window like this. Uh, didn't you all see my window? You can see this window, right? Uh, my this PC thing, file manage. Okay, so in that. Mark, if can you be uh, specific how to duplicate? I don't understand your question. 
which element do you want me to duplicate? So uh, open the folder where you want to save it and then type your name first. Type your name and type day1.html, day1.html and save it. Uh, make sure to change this text document to all files before you save. So seven of them are done renaming their files. What about others? I'll give you all two more minutes. What about others? We all need more time or oh, shall I move on? When we want to upload now, ultimately, all we have to upload it. I made a system to upload it. Just wait for a few minutes. Is the recording one? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Need more time, okay. You all don't need to type this fabric and everything. The guys who are last week, you all should have typed it. Others just type the title H1 and a paragraph. How to copy the icon image? Uh, I think Ziad, you are asking about the uh, favicon which we used last week, which we did. So to create a favicon, you can see I have typed a code called ring link then rel icon href and the link over here. The link over here, I got it. I went to Google and I I think I typed cute uh, clip art images. Yes, it's in my history. Cute, cute clip art images. Then I went to images and just click on click on an image and switch. I click on an image and right click on it and copy image link. This is what I did to get the image link. Then I pasted it between the href tags. Uh, what about others? Six of them are seven of them were done previously. Now only six hands are raised up. If you have completed it, raise your hands in the participants list. Others uh, who have renamed your files, I want you all to open your browser and type uh, Collabrix in Google. Oh, wait, I'll just directly send you all the link. You all can open it. I have sent you all a link in the uh, chat box. You all can actually open the website from there. If you're unable to um, uh, get or open it directly from your chat box, you all can search Google for Collabricks. Then uh, you I didn't get a copy image link, but image address. Yes, copy image address. In Chrome, it will be copy image address, I think. Some of either one of those. Then I want you all to open this website uh, home, this thing, Collabrix. Then, yeah, I want you all to open code class from the navigation bar. And uh, once you're in a screen like this, I'll lower all the hands. Once you're in this screen, raise your hands in the participants list. Make sure you have renamed your files with your name day1.html and you have opened this web page on your browser. Show the working place here. I'm here. Here you go.
Uh, so, Ark, if you're asking me, how did I duplicate the file? Okay, that's easy. Uh, click on the file which I have created. Press Control C on your keyboard. Control C for copy. Then uh, press Control V to paste it. Then it will actually create a copy of that file. Uh, then uh, I want you to F2 to rename it. You can just press right click and press this button to rename it. Rename it with your name day1.html. First part. Uh, okay. So only three of them have opened the website. What about others? Do you all need the link or do you need any other assistance? So this is the first week I'll be teaching you only week. I'll be teaching you all what to open and stuff. From next week onwards, uh, directly will, will be uploading. And from day four onwards, we'll be moving to VS Code for a faster coding. In VS Code, you all don't have to actually type these entire things. HTML, open tag, close tag, body, head, open tag, close tag, body, open tag, close tag. It's actually easy. I'll just show you uh, for the ones who have completed just to see. Can you show it again? All if, what do you need me to show you? Uh, so VS Code is easy. I'll just show you all uh, the thing. I'll close my files first. In VS Code. How to open uh, the website? It's like this. You go to Google, search for Collabrix. C O L L A B R I X. You search for Collabrix and just. It should be your name uh, and day one HTML. The HTML tag is automatically added at the end, at the extension of the file. You add your name, day one HTML. I don't have my laptop right now. Oh, yeah, sure. It's okay. So you open this page, the Collabrix home, that page, and you will be getting a page like this. In this page, on the navigation bar, you will have a thing called code class. I want you all to click on that. Or if you're expert in typing links, HTTP, you know, HTTP is on that. Collabrix, C O L L A C O L L A B R I X dot web dot lk slash code okay how should I how should I how should I name it just my name or so arc if you have to name it like this for example if you're arc if we uh, duplicate it f2 and arc if uh, sorry you name it as arc if office uh, day one dot html this is how you name your file coding please here's the coding just type in uh, open html tag uh, close html tag open head close head open body close body title h1 only h1 is h1 only is fine it's okay only for the first class and i'll uh, just type a p tag and type simply like this this is a simple coding Okay, for the guys who have actually done opening the website, I want you all to go to the dashboard. Uh, for the navigation bar, you all can access the dashboard. And I want you all to click on host HTML. Once on this screen, uh, there is a button called choose HTML file. I want you all to click on choose file. Then choose the file which you renamed. Uh, Ammarkani day1.html. The, the file which you renamed, I want you all to choose that file, click on open and click on upload. If you have uploaded it successfully, you will get a, 
message like this file uploaded successfully that means your file is uploaded after you uploaded your file you can click on view uploaded practicals and actually view your file uh, ASCII had already uploaded let's see yeah so he has done so if you access if you upload your file you can actually come here and see <laughs> sorry okay okay marshall done akif done ammar rizwan done another ammar okay ammar i will check yours Perfect. Wonderful. Wait, do you actually want me to open it uh, front or shall I open it without any other thing? What do you all prefer? Shall I open it front of everyone or do you want me to open it secretly without anyone opening it? Actually, it's public. If you upload it, anyone can uh, view it. Truthe uh, done, Ilma Safwan done, Nasma done. Okay, Amar. Open it secretly. Okay, let's check Marshall's one. Actually, you all don't have to name it as Marshall Day One dot uh, HTML dot HTML because the dot HTML is uh, defaultly added to the uh, file name. If you see your file name uh, in some of the computers, I think uh, you have hidden the view and show file name extensions this option would not be ticked so in those computers you would not be seeing a file extension here but in a normal html file defaultly the extension will would be dot html so you don't have to type it next time my piece is lacking with the number of texts ah marshall good good So what about others? Do you need time to upload your files or shall I start today's work? So only half an hour is gone for these works. One time, okay. Please start. Should tuck them another three minutes early. They will be doing text uh, styling href tags, image tags, uh, introduction to CSS, and let's see if you have time. I'm here actually, uh, if you're taking more time, you don't need to upload it today. You can actually upload it in the end of the day. So we'll be uploading a day two at the end. So you all can actually upload it there. Hmm. We make this so others you all can upload your code i will start the class for today when we will be doing vs code uh, we'll be installing vs code uh, on the day four and delete this can you send the link again mm, here's the link So once you get a free time, you all can visit there and upload your files. And once you uploaded it, go back to the dashboard and click on view HTML. So you can actually open and see the files which you have uploaded. I will check if I have time your yeah, projects. Okay. So last week, uh, I'm going to start the class. This is the code uh, which we completed last week. So I want you all to create another file. Uh, click on Control N, New. Create another file. Again, I want you all to type the entire HTML code. The opening tab. 
don't actually copy it from the last thing. You can actually do it. And the reason I'm telling you all to type is then you all will get an idea. You all don't actually have to type this in VS code. I think I told you all I'll be showing the VS code thing, but I didn't show you all. Actually, when you come to VS code, it's not that hard. It's very easy. For example, I'll create a file called test here, test.html. Then you all don't have to type uh, open HTML tag, close HTML tag. Just this fast all can get it. So actually, you all don't have to waste time when you come to VS Code. That's why uh, from day four onwards, we'll be going to VS Code because we have to create a real-time project. For example, if someone gave you a project to create an e-commerce e website, something okay, a real-time project we will be making from day four. For that, we can't be using apps like Notepad because we have to be fast. The time, the important thing is the time. I can actually use uh, code editors, uh, no code tools. But the thing is, in coding, you all need time management. If you all can do every, anything fast, then coding is your right choice. So once you are like this, you all don't have to type h1, h1, h1 into 5, h1, h1 tags will come. You all don't have to open and close or close tags. If I type this p tag, it will automatically close the p tag. If I want to type a style tag, I always be learning style. Automatically, style will close. If you open a tag, it will close automatically. So, VS Code, you all have the, that advantage of typing codes very fast. And also, uh, control all F. If you give a formatting, it will just look nice. Your code, if you, you, you don't have to have your code like a smudged one, like say it's like all in one line. Ugly codes again. You can actually press a shortcut key, control uh, Alt Shift F. Then uh, y'all can actually get this app. Should we download this app? Uh, we should download this app by day four. In day four, I'll tell y'all how to download. There are some prerequisites. Uh, y'all should actually tick some options in the installation. So we'll be getting it in day four. So let me start our work for today. Don't dream about too much about VS Code. We'll be coming there. Don't worry. Just unshare it. Okay, perfect. Already downloaded. Perfect. Okay, so I want you all to create a new file and type the entire HTML thing. Uh, open head tag, close head tag, open body, close body. Okay, then uh, I want to open title tag and close title tag. I want to name it as this text formatting day two. Then in body, I'm going to just create a title tag. Sorry, uh, H1 tag. Uh, title of the page. I'm going to close it. Y'all can actually give any names which you like. Then I want you all to open a P tag. A paragraph tag and close it. So in the paragraph tag, I want you all to type uh, any text which you like. Uh, I'll stick with the old text which I had last week. No, no. I'll just type something. My name. I don't want to type my information. I'll just ask Chat JPT for something. My bar. What shall we do? Ah, okay. I'll copy my text from my home page. Okay. So I want you all to type something like this. Actually, type, but I'm lazy. Don't want to waste my time typing around 30 words. So once you're done like this, raise your hands in the participants list.
Okay. So actually to reduce, I'll reduce some of the words from this paragraph to actually make it easy for our work today. You all can actually type the amount of text you like, no problem, but I'm reducing it for the purpose of explaining it to y'all easy. I can't save it as HTML file. Sajat, uh, how you save it is, uh, this file, we didn't save it yet. So, oh, uh, notepad plus plus, press control S, then it will open a window for you like this. Then in that window, uh, first click on this save as type, below the file name, click on that. And I want to write, press H on your keyboard. H only, only H. H will direct if you press, it will take you to something called Haskell. Then press H two more times. Then actually you can see a thing called hypertext markup language file. HTML, HTM. Click on that. And I want you all to save your file as Ammar Ghani, let's say text formatting. If you click on that, then it will save your file with your name. So once you're done typing a paragraph, the first thing is, I'll just save this file and open it on my browser. If you see this page, this is the title. This is the paragraph tag. What are the differences? You all can actually see between these two tags. What is the difference? Like, what can you see? Contrasting differences. Size, yes, size is different, obviously. Yeah, put it. Actually, both are same font size. Wait, Akif. Yes, boldness, okay, fonts, font. I think both are same. I'm not same bug any words. Yeah, because see this T and this T. Both look like same. I think, yeah, both are same words. Yeah, good try. So, if you uh, ever guessed how to make this paragraph text bold, uh, yes. the guys who are doing ICT for your O-levels will already know these tags. Those are some simple and easy tags. To make your text bold, you open a B tag. Where you want to start bolding from and you close a B tag. Let's say for an example, I want to bold this text called upload. Then I open a B tag in front of upload and close a B tag after the upload. Okay, then once you're done like this, show me the uh, arc if you're actually, this is nothing to copy. You can actually type H open HTML tag, close HTML tag. Open head tag, close head tag, open body tag, close body tag. So to make a text bold, you actually use the B tag. So once you're done, control is to save it and check on your browser. You must see the upload word bold. Okay, that's how you bold a text. Now let's say you want to uh, italicize a text. For that, let's say I want to italicize the word called platform. Then I go before the platform word. I open an I tag, italic, I again, I remember like that. Then close I tag. Then you can actually save it and check it's italicized. Next edit. Uh, did we done break line last week? So actually if you want to send, for example, let's say, this platform allows students to upload and you want to send this uh, part to the next line, you can use a BR tag. You can open a BR tag. Uh, BR is a independent tag, so you don't need to close it. But say it's a self-closing tag. So you can see the text goes down. So you don't need to actually do this. Just watch me doing. That's enough. And let's say you have seen news, right? You have seen news. In news, have you seen in the bottom, a text will move like this. Or if you have watched TV channels, uh, some of the channels will have text moving in the bottom. It will move like this. Again, okay, horizontally, the text will move. So to create a horizontally moving text, I'll actually delete all of these tags which I had and go back to the long 
paragraph which I previously had. Okay, so to create a text like that, a horizontally moving text, we open a mark you tag. Okay, this is how this is the spelling M A R Q U -E double E. You open a mark you tag, and at the end, you close a mark you tag. So once you're done, save it and check on your browser. You must see a moving text. This is how you create moving texts. Got it? Understood? Any other doubts in this text formatting part? And there are many other tools you can refer. Uh, sub for subscripting and uh, super, uh, SU, you know, sub for subscripting, sub for superscripting. Uh, there are many other text formatting tools you all can use. You all can browse the internet and search for it. How to save it and change to dark theme? Save it, uh, you use control S to save it. To change to dark theme, you go to settings, preferences. Where's the window? Where's the window? Ah. Then uh, you go to dark mode here and click on dark. Once you press dark, it will turn to dark mode. Any other doubts? Or shall we move to the next part? Can you send all the shortcuts to the thing? Like example, br, break, p, paragraph. Okay, I will send. You use these tags to, uh, yeah, you, you want like this uh, br tag, break line, a bold tag, bold like that, right? Yeah. yeah, sure, I'll send you. I'll send in the group so I can. Okay, so the next thing they are going to learn is how to create links. So, Let's visit a website. Let's take google.lk. Just I'll go here and type cars. That is it. If you type, you can actually Google is a website, right? Google is a website. In this website, you can actually see there are links here. If I press this link, it will take me to another website. Okay, if I press this link, it takes me to another another website. If I press this link, it takes me to another website. So in the same manner, to uh, create a, a link in your site, uh, create a text in your site, which will take the users to the other side, you use an anchor tag. To create an anchor tag, anchor for A, A for anchor, you open an A tag and close an A tag. Okay. And anchor tag you made right. So in the middle, between the uh, close angular bracket and open angular bracket, between this, you type the text which you want. Let's say this is a link to Google. Let's say I type like this. Okay. So, in between this, you type. For uh, last week, for creating the fav uh, favicon, we used a tag called href to mark the location of the uh, file, the image file. So in this also, inside the anchor tag, we'll be using an href tag to send the user to a specific link. So I'll go here and I'll grab Google's link. So I'll just type google.lk. And I want to copy the entire link with this https semicolon slash slash www.google.lk. I want to copy this. You all can copy in any other links you all want. But make sure to copy with this https. Got it. Once you all get the link, put it between the uh, inverted commas, press control S and open your website, refresh it. You must see a text like this. If you press it, it will take you to your, it will take to Google. Wait, okay, sure, sure. Uh, actually, the, uh, these are just 
never mind if you all don't do it. If anyone knows this, you all don't have to do it because it's a basic thing. What you actually need to do. So any doubts or questions which you all want to ask regarding what we have done until now? Okay, so next, next, how to add an image to your web browser, sorry, to your website, I'm sorry, sorry, how to add an image to your website, adding an image is also like this only, I'll just create my other text and keep here, okay, this is a simplified version, my website, okay, so this is the anchor tag. Uh, so to create an image, the tag you use is IMG. You open IMG tag, but you don't have to close it. Lucky, isn't it? You open IMG tag, but you don't have to close. After that, in A tag, what did we use to uh, link the other website? What, what tag is this? Exactly, it's the href tag. In image, we'll be using the SRC, stands for source, SRC tag, equal, open inverted commas, and I want you all to go to Google and type anything, get any image which you like. I'll just type, ka. oh, sorry, sorry. I'll type ka again. And I'll actually copy some of the image, any of the image. I'll just click on this and wait till it load. Right click and copy image link in uh, Collabrix website design by you. Yes, I designed it. Actually, it's developed. Design means I told you last week that designing is creating a static web page. Development is advanced. So I want you all to click on copy image link in Edge. It will be copy image link in Chrome. I think it is. Uh, copy image address so click on that and i want you all to paste the link in between the inverted commas once you're done reload your web page and you all should be seeing something like this if you all are seeing Raise your hands in the participants list. Will you be able to explain that code upon, uh, in the image tag? Okay, image tag is like this. Usman, I'll look here. So to create an image tag, what to do is you open a tag called IMG. Okay. In previous tags, we open body, close body, open head, close head, open title, close title, open anchor tag, close anchor tag. But in image tag, you don't have to close it. It's a self-closing tag. So once you open the image, like uh, you did href for href for anchor tag, you define the image link with src tag in img tags. So once you're done typing src, equal and open inverted comma, close inverted comma. And I told you all to go to Google and get uh, any of the image which you like. Control V to paste it in between the inverted commas. Once you're done copying the link and pasting it between the inverted commas, go to your web page, reload it, and you all can see your image appearing there. Done. Can I make all the text to close automatically? Yes. Uh, in day four, we'll be getting... In day four, shall I do it in day three or day four? No, day four. Let's do some of the important things next week. Right? Sometimes I might get VS Code next week. The tag up, the image tag. Okay. Uh, so, Amar, I'll plan on getting VS Code day three or day four. In VS Code, you all don't have to close it. It will automatically close. Uh, before the image tag, you will have the anchor tag. So, anchor tag is used to 
link a website, link another website or your own website from your website. For example, if you take google.lk, if you type something called car, it will give you several links here. You all can see these are links of different sites. If you press just a thing, it will take you to a, another website. So to do that in your web page, you use the anchor tag. You create an anchor tag, anchor A, remind, remember it like that, open anchor tag, close anchor tag. And be, in between the uh, open anchor tag, uh, angular brackets, you type href equal open inverted comma. Then I copied the Google's link and pasted here. And in between the close angular bracket and opening angular bracket, I want you all to type the text which will be displayed on your web page. Done. Shall I move to the next part? If you all have any doubts, you all can ask in the chat box. Actually, it's better if you all ask uh, the doubts on that same time. For example, the, after the anchor tag, I asked whether you all understood and no one sent me a message. So I went to the next tag. So if you all have any doubts, ask at the moment and clear it. Okay, so once you're done typing the IMG SRC, uh, the reason I'm not giving you all much time in these activities is because this is just an explanation. You all can actually not do these parts. You all can actually, if you all can really do it in your head, it's fine. But uh, when we are doing the real time project, I'll be giving you all time and making sure everyone does it parallelly. How to see the corner in this coding? You can actually, there's a scroll bar here in the bottom of your screen. Pull it. Pull, pull, pull. Here and there, you can actually go to the end of the chair. So once you're done, uh, entering your image link, saving it and checking it in your website. I want her to create another tag after this, before the closing angular bracket, create another attribute called alt. So, what is this alt tag? Any ideas, anyone? Some of you have must have done audible ICT. So, any ideas? If you all have a just idea, if, even if you all didn't do audible ICT and you all have a knowledge about this tag, you all can send it. What is this alt tag used for? Size of the image. Yeah. Okay, so alt tag is not uh, the most of the answers were the size of the image. Actually, it is not the size of the image. Let's say, for example, you gave here a wrong link. And the, your link didn't work. I'll show you all. The alt tag is used to show the user. If your image is not available, it will show a text to the user that an image must be here. This image is related to this. For example, I'll say, what's this car brand? Chevrolet. Ah, make I don't actually memorize car names. Okay, so something like this Chevrolet Mokaddo. So I'll just type something Chevrolet car, Stingray. I'll just put all this. This is an image of this is an image of Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, something. Okay, and I save it. Okay, you type this inside the alt uh, attribute and you'll save it and check in your web browser. You all don't actually see the code. Where is that? You type no. This is mm, Chevrolet something. This is an image of. You all can't actually see that. Okay, then you'll ask. Then uh, Let's say the link which I typed here is wrong. I'll actually remove this part from my link and check whether it works. I'll just remove this HTTPS part. And just press Control S. And let me check. If I remove that part, the 
link is not proper. So if the link is not proper, the image will not display on the web page. So alt attribute is used in an instance where the image is not available. Did you all get it? How to switch from Zoom to the website directly? I'll have two dedicated keys in your keyboard called Alt and Tab. Oh, blah, 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 and. Any other questions or shall I move to the next part? We have 10 minutes more. Okay. So the next thing. Now I'll fix my link properly. Or else I can't do the next part. I fix my link and check if it's working. Yeah, it's working perfectly. Now let's say your image is too big. The image is too big for you in the screen. You want it smaller. For that instance, you do this. You go to your HTML file which you created. After the all tag, you create another attribute called width. Sorry, alt is not a tag, it's an attribute. Another attribute called width. Open tag, open inverted commas, close inverted commas, then height, open close. Either. So inside here, I'll just give my width is actually long. I'll give width around 300. And height 150. Just numbers, yeah, just numbers. Once you're actually done typing the width attribute and height attribute and giving a value for that, save it. Oops, oops, open. Okay, save it and check it on your web page. Now you can see the image is resized smaller. Image is the image. So you can actually like, if you feel that the image is too stretched, the width is too much stretched, I'll like actually, I can actually reduce it to 250. Control S and it will show. Okay, so that's how you resize an image. Any questions or shall I move to the next part? So this is the code with height. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Okay. So next, just a second. The whole code. I'm not sure whether you can zoom and see. Okay, so I'll actually give you all some time to code. I think I was going so fast that you all don't have enough time to code. So we'll be doing the class until 9, 10 today. So you all can actually take some time. I'll give you all two minutes to copy this code. So if you have already uh, done typing your code, you can raise your hands in the participants list. So I know that you are in the track.
so then shall i move to the next part my image is also moving now okay if the reason for your image to move is i think you have opened a marquee tag hari the you must have opened your marquee tag on the top me vage you must have opened your marquee tag and i think you didn't close it you must have left the marquee tag open in that instance it, the, your image also will move see if i just open the marquee tag the image will uh, if i open the marquee tag all the content below the marquee tag all the content which is stated after the marquee tag will start moving if you want to actually stop the uh, marquee tag from moving from a particular place then go to the end of that place and close the marquee tag so once you are done like that your image should not move only your text will move got it okay so once you are done with that i want you to create another control n a new html file and copy the same text which you had uh, which you have typed already here and go and paste it there so the javascript tag is script yes the script uh, and delete all the content i want you to delete the content in between the body tags and body tags and keep your code plain uh, and i want you all to name this as css something your name css so the task is actually you have to create a new file copy the uh, you don't have to actually type we don't have enough time you can actually copy the text code from the last time and actually paste it here and get the things sorted and delete the contents between the body tag and do the things so i want you all to have a page like this you can actually save it control s to save it h to get save it as html i'm going to save it as ammar gani css so you can actually get it there so can you explain some of the tactics is it okay so i'm planning a thing like this so i'm having examinations next week so after my examinations i'm planning to create a edu section in this code page in this code with amar page i'm going to create a nav another nav link called edu in that i'll be actually giving you all the code and what you can do with this code what are the things you can experiment something like that i'm planning to do hopefully if i get time i'll actually create another page so wait for another two weeks so again time give me time so i can do it do you have program this in html no uh, this website is in php because uh, html is limited to static content if you want to actually create dynamic content you have to go to php got it any, any other questions okay so once you're done like this walaikum salam so once you're done like this i didn't get the text when we i didn't get the text we get when the image doesn't come so did you open the all tag and given equal symbol uh, open an alt attribute equal open inverted commas and did you type your text in between that and make sure the all tag doesn't uh interfere with this inverted commas here have you done like that do you have a recording i just joined yes the recording will be shared in the group you can watch it check if your alt attribute is not touching the previous codes or it is in this format quick 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 will mark quick is it actually in this format uh, yes abdul basit uh, we actually this is a basic learner course you can actually watch the last week's recording to get things sorted 
no uh don't actually watch this line number thing this is actually the line number states number of lines you leave even if you leave 100 lines like this and type your code it's going to work ah uh, perfect ilma so even if you keep 100 lines in this it's going to work uh, it actually doesn't need to be in the next line you can actually keep it in the same line i just kept it for a purpose for you all to read it easily from my page so once you're done like that i want you all to go to your previous tag uh, the next page which i told you all to create and see uh, this is the skeleton of uh, what i have created and if you see some of the pages in the internet you all can see the background is something dark can you actually see some of the web, uh, if you take google will you the web page is dark the background is dark so how to create a background where the uh, web page where the background is black okay for that you use a thing called css okay for uh, to give a small briefing yes. there are three types of css okay one is inline css which we are going to do now okay and another is the internal css this is just theory you don't have to memorize it it will not be tested anywhere the other is the external css be careful this might come in your worksheet uh, this is a point for those who are listening a free mark for those who are listening actually three marks the done i didn't go through the worksheet so css of three types inline css internal css and external css inline css is like this now this is our body tag right in body tag i keep a space after the body so what's the file extension we should save the last file html okay uh, after the body tag i want to keep a space and type style when will you give the worksheet after the class in the group and equal open in order commands okay this is an example for inline css that inline css means within a uh, uh, opening tag given you give the a call for the css and internal css i'll explain you all in a while we will take 5 more minutes extra today so i just complete this, this part because it's in your worksheet today this part is in your worksheet that's why i'm rushing i'll just give you all a more briefing next week okay inside your body tag you open a style in a style attribute like this and within the style attribute you type something called background color once you type back even uh, notepad plus plus might give you a signal called background color gala can actually if you if you are lazy like me to type you can actually go and click oh sorry sorry background color you can and type and it will type it automatically are you really lazy yes i am lazy ma okay once you are done like this i want you all to give a semicolon leave a space the space is optional but you can leave a space and try uh, did you learn something called hexadecimal in your grade 10 icit grade 10 lesson number 3 i guess lesson number 3 is yes i think data representation something is there hexadecimal lesson number 3 yes should be lesson number 3 you are little lazy and more crazy thank you omar uh, so after the background tag leave a uh, give a semicolon and leave a space and you use a hash symbol to denote hexadecimal color for for your for your information 000 stands for black okay make sure you have typed this code i want you all to type this code the previous codes i told don't type it with me you all can actually do something here but this code i want you all to type once you type it save it ah wait 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 after the style tag after the 00 thing i want you all to leave a semicolon so it's actually background dash color colon leave a space space is optional leave a space hash 000 semicolon close that uh, save the file go to your uh, click on file open in default viewer and open the page you must be seeing a dark website dark web page do you all see it I'll lower your hands if you all are seeing a dark 
page like that, raise your hands in the participants list. Here's the coding. Body, style equals, background color, colon, space, hash, zero, 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 semicolon, close in order to come up. Once you are done, raise the hands in the participants click. How to open that page? Click on file, open in default viewer. This is another small leak for the guys who are listening. Internal, sorry, inline CSS is there in your worksheet. This entire code also will be there. Uh, what about others? So there are Amhar, Salma, Marshall, Ilma, Prem Kumar, Situki, Umar, Yashan. I well done typing this code. Okay, so you all should get a. I'll just do it now because we don't have enough time. Just five minutes and we are done. Okay, after the body tag, I want you all to open a P tag, paragraph tag, sorry, uh, H tag, H1 tag. Open an H1 tag. And I want all of you guys to upload this in the code page. Okay, open H1 tag and type something called title of my page. Oh no. Yeah, title of my page or your name or any content which you like, you can type title of my page. Okay. And for this thing, we are going to use internal CSS. Okay. To use an internal CSS, you go to your head tag, which you had created on the top, your head tag. Within your head tag, below your title, you type something called style. Open style and close style. Okay. And here, stop coding, stop coding. Look at here carefully. Careful look here. What's the name of this uh, tag? Quick, 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 quick. What's the name of this tag? This is H1, may not H2. See properly H1. Exactly. This is H1 tag. So I want you to type h1 here inside the style carefully look at here style is open style is closed type h1 give this symbol curly brackets can only make it open a curly bracket close a curly bracket this is very important careful if anything is wrong this won't work this is actually not html language what you type it this is css actually you know css you can tell someone i know css gala but don't Talk too much. This is actually the basic things. So once you're done typing the H1 tag, open the curly brackets, close the curly bracket, and go to the next line and keep something like this. Now I want you to save the file. Save the file and go to your web page and you must see this. If you reload, you can see, you cannot see your text. Why is that? Can anyone identify it? Can anyone guess why your text isn't displayed when you refresh? Let's see who's the smart guy here. We've not typed it. Amhar, exactly. Amhar, you're correct. Uh, we have typed it. Uh, Ark, if you can see, because we have typed it. Uh, 
I'm too lazy to tell. It's okay because I'm lazy because I'm the one who's doing the class here. So it's okay for me to be lazy, but I'm not sure why you're lazy. If you're lazy, don't join the meeting. X color is black. Exactly. Marshall and Amar, you're correct. Because the text is black. Previously, if you open your previous pages, you all can see your text was black. And now, if your web page background color is black, you, how can your text be displayed? For example, now if I click on my mouse and if I just drag it, I can actually see my text is there, but it's not visible. Because the text is also black. Background is also black. That's the reason why you can't see it. For that only I'm using this internal CSS to type something here. H1 and I type color colon white semicolon. Color colon white semicolon. You are here to learn Ilma, so don't worry. So color semicolon white. Okay, save it. And reload your page, you must see your text. We all get it. Right, we got that. So here's the code. Color colon white semicolon. So that's it for today. Sorry for keeping you guys extra 17 minutes. Actually, I started the class 17 minutes late. Does it apply for every text? Only that text. It applies for H1 tag. Uh, H1 tag only. Because we have stated H1 only. Next week, I'll teach all more about CSS. Don't worry. Uh, sorry for keeping you all 17 minutes late. Hope you all understood and enjoyed the lesson. If you have any doubts, you all can ask. Others can leave. Uh, and make sure you upload this code uh, to the code platform. You know the link, right? I'll send the link to the group. You can actually upload your code. Uh, Collabricks.pet.org slash code. Then go to the dashboard. And host HTML. Choose your file here. Upload it. And if you all want, you can give your practicals. So that's it for today. If you all don't have any doubts, you all can leave. Others can copy the code and Walaikum Salam. Good night. Shall I end the meeting or I'll go? Bye, Amar. Bye. Night. Umar, it's okay, man. I know. And something you tell good about me, you know. Next would be a message like this. And then the recording. So those who are copying the code can copy the code and lead the meeting. If so I have any doubts, you all can ask. Others can be. Good night.